All right, so um, just a quick update. I didn't get a chance to send up my other video from last week. Um, not this past week of August, but the week before. Um, so we're now technically in the first week of September. Today is September the 2nd, which is Labor Day. Um, and so I'm off today from work, but I'm about to go ahead and do a few errands. But before I do that, I wanted to just update you all on the things that's been going on as far as the money is concerned so number one um i have started over a whole new month and at the end of last month i ended with 700 and i want to say 28 dollars. i think this 748 excuse me that's what it was so i ended with 748 extra dollars now there was 225 that had to be taken from that um to put towards tithing that i hadn't done um, and <clears throat> what my goal is, is um, really to spend that money on, because I do tithe like half of it, the 10% to my church, and then the other half I wanted to give to like a charity as tithing. Um, so I'm going to take that money, that 225 and the half of my paycheck this month, and the 10% for it, take half of that 10% and add it together. And then I'm going to do a big shopping haul with that money and take it to the drop-off place for this particular charity so that is the plan um and so uh, i didn't really realize i didn't think it through well i knew that i needed to put the 225 set apart for tithing but i actually left it in my regular account instead of putting it in my savings and so when i went to pay my credit card which is the one that's remaining um, I actually paid the whole $748, which included the $225. And I also transferred over $225 additional dollars into my savings account. So basically what that did is took $225 from my regular spending um, and put it towards payment of the credit card on um, accident. So yeah. Hopefully I can save another 500 something dollars and leave that 225 on the credit card payment um, and it won't be such a big deal. But if I get into a situation where I need to, <laughs> then we will be dipping back into that credit card because I did overpay it for 225, which I did not intentionally mean to do. Um, because we did start over, um, I did try to balance out like my 70% and all this kind of jazz. and. What I came up with is I was able to live off of the 70%, but I wasn't able to save this month as much. Um, I typically put back $100 a month for savings, um, but the 30% that is supposed to go with the 70%, 30%, and then um, 10%, wait, no, I'm so wrong, 70%, 20%, and then 10%. Um, the 20% of savings I did not do this month, I instead put it all on my card. So in total, I put about, I wanna say it was, let's see, I had that 748, then I normally pay 250, and then I put, what was it? Mm -mm. It was 748, 250. Oh yes, and um, so I received payment for my summer job that i ended in july and because of the fact that it was in the school system it's basically a month in the hole before you get paid for that so i did get that last summer job paycheck which was about 800 and something dollars and so um i took the 10 percent out of the 800 and something dollars but i still i think i still ended up keeping it like it was but still taking 10 percent from the entire amount that i got paid on my check so in either case, I paid 800 and something, 700 and something, plus 250. So that put me at what, 16, almost 17, $1,800 that I put out this month alone for that card, which put me pretty much at owing right around $100 left on that card, which I'm this tempted to just go ahead and pay right now. But in the event, especially since I overpaid that credit card payment by 225, um, I might just wait until the end of this month and put that a hundred additional dollars on that and then at the end of this month Lord's willing nothing happens everything turns out fine and wonderful 
I will get the opportunity to have paid off both of my credit cards, which is fabulous. Um, and crazily enough, which I guess it's a smart strategy on credit card companies, but the first credit card that I've already paid off over the summer, okay, everywhere, ugh. Um, I paid it off and they increased my limit. So I was at a, I think they put me at a 3,200 limit, literally maybe, I want to say three or four months ago, but because I spent it up to the limit and then paid it all off, they increased my limit to $5,000. No lie. Literally when they got that paid for me to pay it off, they put it up to $5,000. So her girl going to be taking her time before she tries to put any money on that credit card. But credit card companies are a trip. And that's all I do have to say on that. And then more than likely, once I pay this one down, they'll probably try to do the same thing. But again, my mindset is for credit cards, I don't want the debt anymore. It's not to say that I won't use them anymore because that would be a lie. I think what I'm going to use them for, though, is just for purposes of building my credit. So if there's something that I purchase that it's an emergency, I need to purchase it but know that in the near future, I'd be able to pay it off. And by near future, I mean within the month, I will be able to pay that cost off. If I can't afford it within the month, then we're not investing in it. Um, that way, it'll show that I'm still using the credit and then I will have paid off the credit again to then build the credit. So weird, ridiculously weird that you have to do stuff like that. But anyway, so we started on our new week. Uh, yesterday was the beginning of that. Got my $75, but we're already around $25 left in the account, and it's just Monday. Um, so I have some Target gift cards. Um, I have some Starbucks gift cards, and I have a Walmart gift card too. And I'm going to use those cards as well as the $25 additional dollars I have left over for the week to do a grocery shopping haul, which is where I'm on my way to now while my clothes are drying. So in either case, that's kind of where we are financially. I was very ecstatic and excited. Um, I'm so grateful that um, you know God gave me the patience throughout the month uh, to wait before I spent on stuff and to really think through my finances. Um, I will say, and then I'm gonna stop the video because I don't wanna go too long, but I will say that it was my sister's birthday or it's gonna be her birthday this week. So we celebrated her birthday this weekend and uh, we took her out to a nice restaurant and I bought her a few things of my own that I wanted to give her, which put me up to around 80 something dollars that I spent on that, which is fine. Uh, really, it is so fine. Um, but I took that out of my savings account. Um, and in the savings account, out of the 20% you put in there, 10% is don't touch it no matter what, unless it's just like end of the world, about to lose your house, about to lose your car situation. And then the other 10%, you don't just spend it willy-nilly, but it's like if you need something like paying for a gift, in my, for my case, I don't know about everybody else, but for me, if I needed it to buy a gift for my sister or if there were something like, if I, like for instance, I'm pretty much thinking that these wonderful shoes that I have, um, my black sandals, which are my favorite shoes ever, they are getting worn down because I wear them a lot. And because I'm living this minimalist lifestyle, that means that I'm gonna wear them bad boys just about every other day because if this is the black sandal that I got, that's the black sandal I'm going to wear. So with that said, I can foresee probably within the month me buying a new pair of black sandals or just possibly buying a new pair of um, black comfortable um i wouldn't say dressy shoes i don't know if i want to necessarily get a flat um and i already have some heels which are terribly uncomfortable but i have some so um in either case i might be putting an investment into some shoes this month and then maybe some shirts because i do have my stitch fix coming this month which is twenty dollars for a stylist fee and then probably another twenty dollars for the item that i want which is about 40 something dollars so in either case most of that will come from my savings the other 10 percent that i can use when i need stuff but not an emergency need so anyway i'm done have a wonderful rest of your week and i will update you next sunday bye